This is Rob Robido, pastor of Valley Baptist Temple in Fairlawn, Ohio, here with today's Bible moment for Tuesday, November 22nd, the week of Thanksgiving. Today I want to look in the book of Luke, chapter 6. I'm going to read three verses, but I want to focus on verse 28. I'm going to start with 27. It says, But I say unto you, which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. This is one of the most controversial passages that you find in the Bible, and frankly, one of the most well-known passages in the Bible. When you ask someone, what is a Christian supposed to do? How is a Christian supposed to act? I think that most people would come back to this passage and point it out. It's a very unusual passage. It is not a normal thing for us to want to bless those that curse us and love those that hate us and do good to those that are trying to do the opposite back to us. It is an unnatural thing. Now, on the other hand, someone that blesses us, it's easy to bless them back. When someone says, I hope you have a great day, you too, I hope you have an excellent day as well. When someone wishes you something, when someone gives you a gift, when someone does something good for you, it incites a desire to return that, to again bless them back again. But that's not what this passage is talking about. This passage is talking about doing that, as in being kind, blessing, loving those that do the opposite to you. And yet we know that there's the ultimate example in Scripture. Romans chapter 5 and verse 8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us. It doesn't say while we loved him, or when we loved him, or when we did good to him, when we worshipped him, when we sacrificed him. It says, But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we were yet sinners. What is that word sin? What is sinning? It is rebellion against God. It is shaking our fist in the face of God and telling him what I want to do is more important. It is hating him. It is cursing him. And yet he loved us even unto death. Today, I want to ask you, will you follow the example of Christ? Will you love those that hate you? Will you bless those that curse you? Will you seek the best for those that are unwilling to seek the best for you? That's today's Bible moment.